Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 E here, and welcome to another episode of the new bike build series. We're taking a brand new 2018 BMW S1000 Double R with the premium package that I purchased from my good friends at Sills BMW. And with the help of our amazing channel sponsors, we're adding some outstanding parts onto this motorcycle. At the end of the build series, we are giving this bike away to one of you fantastic people viewing the video. Information on how you might win the motorcycle is in the description. In today's episode, we are going to add ceramic paint protection and coating to the S1000 RR to help keep the shine glistening and prevent rock chips and all sorts of other bad things from happening to your outstanding motorcycle. We're here at Rehab Detailing in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Hey, hey. Hey, what's going on? What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. This is my man, man, Ross from well, Rehab yeah. Detail. Thank you. Glad, yeah. glad to be here. Awesome. Hey, man. How are you doing? Hey, what's going on? How are you? Eve, good to meet you. What's happening, brother? All right. So, Ross, yeah. what do we got here? Man, well, we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm actually doing some renderings right now on a BMW M5. Nice. We can actually go in and change the color. This guy he said uh, he liked this color, but then I said, how about if we do something else? We'll do a turquoise. Ooh. And so we do something like that, do a turquoise. Now, that one's nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then we can even do stuff like lower it, too. So we put some different wheels on it and lower it, which kind of gives it a, 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 just a wow. different look. So, And then we can go in and change the color all around, whatever we want to do. But uh, working on that for one client right now, it's uh, that's actually going to come from Houston. So nice. we got to make some room for it. And yeah. in the meantime, we got a lot of projects going on in here, too. Sweet. So you want to come take a look? Please. All right. An S Class, one of my favorite vehicles, right there. Yeah, brand new S560. So wow. This is the newer model. Um, it's already a matte silver from the factory, which is like a five thousand dollar option. Yeah. Uh, the guy comes in and he goes, "Hey, I, you know, I, I, I really kind of want to just make it a little darker." Um, <laughs> ironically, he's only he's only wow. leasing it for two years until the Porsche Taycan comes in. Never heard of that one. Wow. That's the uh, Mission E. That's the okay. official name for the Mission E. Gotcha. Well, this is Matt, my vinyl wrap. Hey, Matt. Hello, hey, buddy. Wow. This door right yep, literally in progress. There it is. It's, wow. It looks easy, but it does take a lot of work to, to get to the easy parts. But the doors are easy. Sure. <laughs> Look at those freaking calipers and braking system and rotors. Looks like he has a ceramic rotor package or something on this thing. That's definitely a heavy duty one with the four the giant four piston calipers up front. Wow. Yeah, this is a, a very, very nice ride. The doors, you know, self closing. Mm -hmm. Just everything you want. Air ride. Factory air ride leveling. Wow. Interior is unbelievable. A Super nice. Right now. Don't judge. Yeah. No, no, I won't judge at all. I think it's so nice. How could you? So, for our wraps, we do a full disassembly. So, mm -hmm. the bumpers come off, headlights, taillights, doors, handles, doors, mirrors, everything. Whatever it needs to come off to, to get it done correctly, that's what we do. Very thorough, Ross. Thank Very you, thorough thank indeed. You. Um, this is a, a new Tesla Model 3. Oh, okay. So it's this is my first time seeing one of these in person, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it just looks like a little squished up Model S. <laughs> um, but they but they work out great. They're very fast. So even yeah. though it's considered the economy version of uh, Tesla, it's still faster than this GTR back here. No stuff. Uh, it, it, it's ridiculous. No. Matt, what were the 0 to 60s? Like two and a half, three seconds? Yeah, the GTR is 2.9 seconds. This is right around three. It's in this little thing. It's yeah. ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just all torque. So we this is pretty new. It has a, a few hundred miles on it. Uh -huh. Our customers call us because they know when their cars are being delivered and then they book the appointments and we're about two to three months out. Yeah. So we try to get them in as quick as we can to protect them before they get you know, before they get a lot of miles on them. Sure. Even with the few miles this hat on it, we still put about fifteen hours into the paint to perfectly correct it. Wow. So it's sitting here, it's a little dusty. We corrected it. It's waiting for its turn to go in the wash bay to get washed before we coat it with um, two different levels of protection. We do paint protection film in the front, mm -hmm. um, which is a clear bra or clear vinyl a lot of people are familiar with. Sure. We use a 10-year film, very clear, um, very, very durable from SunTech. And then the rest of it's going to get coated in two layers of Ceramic Pro. So we're going to use a layer of 9H and a layer of light. It gives a five-year warranty to the car. Um, and it is, I mean, I can test, uh, testify to it. We started carrying it four years ago. I did my personal car, yeah. and I have just beat the tar out of it on purpose yeah. to see how durable it is. I can bring it in here and wash it in 15 minutes. It looks like I just detailed it. Wow. Back here, we're, we're just finishing up this chrome GTR. So we did a black oh, wow. chrome vinyl wrap from Avery Dennison. That's gorgeous. 
So we took the whole thing apart. We're literally just finishing the mirrors today and then polishing it and coating it. It's very so classy. So it is, uh, it's just about ready to go. Very classy. Very classy indeed. He's this got is... some gorgeous Evan wheels. Uh, we, we pulled those off. We coated them in Ceramic Pro. We coated the caliper. So all of it is pristine and protected now. And you can't even tell that you have a coating on there. Oh, no. It, well, it glossed it up quite a bit. If yeah. you saw it before, it was good. But now it's... It's excellent. No, the, 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 the coating is crystal clear. Uh -huh. It's impervious to chemicals. If you drive in the winter, the salt, like up here in Ohio, the salt won't wear it off. So we do a lot of daily drivers like the Model 3, yeah. a lot of Range Rover, stuff like that. But then it works so good on ex for exotics because of the protection factor that it, it, it's just really the best of the, uh, the best. Wow. So it's, it's not the cheapest, but it is yeah. the best. Okay. And that's kind of what we do. We, wanna, we want things to be the best. Which is probably why you're here today. That's exactly why. All right. I've been following you on Instagram for a long time. I've seen your work, and you're in Cleveland as well, so you're my only choice, my first choice. Well, I appreciate that, and we're, we're honored because uh, we've seen your videos too, and I wish I was out there riding with you. I, oh, I used yeah. to ride back, back in the day yeah. down in Fort Lauderdale uh, when I lived down in South Florida. Uh, my girlfriend won't let me ride anymore. No. So, yeah. We'll work away at her. We'll, I'll, I'll talk to her. You don't always have to tell yeah. her. I mean, I, it, it could be, you know, testing for a client. I'm just trying to help. Yes. I've got my leathers in the back. I, I kept them, you know, just in case. You never know. Nice. So, yeah, so we got this. Wow, this is beautiful. Why don't you tell me more about it? Sure. I, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I can't wait to dig into it and make it, like, even better. Well, first of all, I love the lighting you have on this damn thing. We're going to have to get some lighting for uh, future seasons of our new bike build series. But this is a 2018 BMW S1000 RR. From the factory, it's fully loaded with BMW's dynamic dampening suspension. So the suspension automatically adjusts on its own for road conditions and things of that nature. This motorcycle has a quick shifter and an auto blipper, so that means, Ross, it can uh, go up and down in the gears without the use of the clutch. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, it's totally awesome. So when you're on the track, that's one less thing you have to worry about is using the clutch and timing and all that. You can just focus on braking, cornering, and things of that nature. But we added a lot of custom parts to this motorcycle. Everything that you see that's carbon fiber on the bike was once upon a time either black plastic or just some sort of other color that was not as appealing as carbon fiber. We added the carbon fiber wheels. This beautiful exhaust on there is full of titanium, 100% titanium. Sounds great. And most importantly, this bike started its life, Ross, weighing 457 pounds, and now it only weighs 427 pounds. That's incredible. Yeah. I guess all the titanium, the carbon fiber, things like that make that big of a difference. Yes, sir. Nice. Absolutely. It looks, it looks incredible. And now what's interesting to me is I'm looking at it, and I love the design. So I think a lot of people will sometimes go a little overboard with different elements. Yeah. Like, I like uh, the color green, so I make everything green, and then it's like, yeah, it's too much green. Right. Um, and I, I've been designing cars for about 25 years. We've built a lot of SEMA cars. We just had a car go to Pebble Beach that we did. Nice. Um, and so we kind of work in that scope. This is perfect. This is yeah. perfection. Everything's balanced. It's beautiful. It's definitely still reminiscent of what BMW wanted to create. Mm -hmm. It's just the better version than what they chose to do. So my mm -hmm. hat's off to you. I love it. Thank you. Now, what's interesting is, is this is pretty much what people bring us is a, is a, is a vehicle that's already 99%. We're going we're gonna to take that next percent and make it perfect. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. If you come over and look in the light yeah. here. I don't know how well it'll pick up on the on the camera. I'm but seeing some hay. We're going to see some just some real light uh, spider webbing. People call it. Yeah. It's actually called micro marring, and what it is, it's just very very light marring in the clear coat. Because there's clear coat over the carbon fiber over the resin. Yeah. And so that marring is is pretty typical when people wash um, anything without a, a really good set of standards of how to wash. It's not like it's anything really complicated. There's just a few extra steps that we know about yeah. that will help prevent this from happening. Sure. Um, a lot of people just kind of wax it and then it kind of fills in some of that and makes the surface glossy. Yeah. But wax has a lot of drawbacks. It's opaque. It's not crystal clear. Um, it's sticky. So what happens is it attracts more dirt and then as you go to wash it, you actually scratch it more. Wow. And then you put Never more wax that. on it to fix it. Right. It's, yeah. Most people don't. But it's 1950s technology yeah. and we're in 2018. So yes. that's where ceramic glass coatings come in where they molecularly bond to the paint surface they fill in the microscopic pores, hills, and valleys so that things can't get attached to it. And they're so slick that everything just washes right off. You cannot even imagine what it's like to wash a vehicle 
with the Ceramic Pro when you've been used to washing it the other way. We get more repeat business from customers that have come in, oh, I got a new car, I'll get some protection or whatever. We sell it, we tell them, hey, look, we don't wax, we don't have any products like that because they're completely obsolete. Yes. Let me put the Ceramic Pro on it and let's see how you do. Now, literally, they call, Ross, I'm, I'm getting a new Porsche, it's coming in in three weeks, can you get me on the schedule? Yeah. They don't even care how much it is. They're just like, get me on the schedule. Let's get it in. Let's get it. Let's get it protected. Wow. Because now when I go to wash my car, if it's not protected with that stuff, it's a pain. Yes. And, and of course, just the, the clarity, the gloss factor, every, everything is a win. Um, it's a little higher cost than your traditional detail, but you only have to do it once with a little bit of maintenance here and there, and, and, you're, and you're, you just, it's totally revolutionary. That's all. Wow. So okay. we're going to go through and we're going to polish off the damaged clear coat mm -hmm. um, with, with a, a nice series of polishing and different options we do. It's called paint correction. So instead of just kind of running over it with a buffer just to get it okay, we're actually going to go through with a much more detailed light than the one I'm using right now, and we're going to make sure everything's perfect. Once that's done, then we coat it with a ceramic glass coating, which is about five times harder than this paint. So once all that's done, it takes about two weeks to fully cure. And when that's finished, this thing is not only going to look magnificent, uh, but it's also going to just stay that way for years and years to come. Wow. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited, man. Well, here's something I've never seen. They're actually removing the wrap from a vehicle. And that's kind of new to me. I think this Escalade looked really nice with the wrap that was on it, but the person is uh, taking it off, surrendering the vehicle, restoring it back to its black original paint. Pretty tough to do that, take the wrap off. In some areas it's a lot harder than others, but it's, uh, it's a little bit of a process, about a 10 hour job to unpeel a whole entire car. Like wow, this. 10 yeah. hours? Yep. But here we are, the bike is finished. Ross has worked on this bike for a couple days. Many, many hours went into it, and I will say it looks a thousand times better than when we brought it in here. So now your 2018 S1000RR is protected, looks great, protected from chips, road abuse the sun and all sorts of stuff hey ross hey what's going on man? what's up buddy how are you good man how are you doing good to see you see you again man thank you so what here you we are i love it i mean it's just uh <laughs> a thousand times better than when we brought it in here that glaze that we showed earlier in the video from the other day is gone you can put the light on that we can definitely see that awful awful glaze is gone so uh I don't even know what to say. What, what, yeah, no problem. Yeah, what have you been doing to this thing? I mean, and uh, well, thankfully you brought me a really nice, very clean, very new bike. So nice. I mean, this is—I I feel a little guilty because this is the easiest thing I've done all week. Nice. But it turned out amazing, even above and beyond kind of where it started. Yeah. Um. So I'll walk you through the process, and obviously we did the—we did a time lapse, so you'll get to see some of it. But mm -hmm. this will give a kind of commentary. Um, the first step is to polish it. So what we, we call the process paint correction. Okay. Um, generally speaking, it's a little different than polishing, uh, only because there's usually a multi-step process, and you kind of go over it inch by inch to make sure that everything is done exactly right. Yeah. This bike was so good that the only amount of paint correction I had to do was basically what most people refer to as polishing. So it was a very simple process. I uh, probably put about an hour into the polishing on this bike. Okay. Um, I've had some Harleys that I've done that have taken up to 18 hours. Wow. Um, and we are at 120 an hour, so I mean, it can get very pricey. Sure. But it's a lot cheaper than a brand new bike, I can yeah. tell you that much. <laughs> um, so this one was probably about an hour. Uh, then we, uh, we we clean it down and we do the paint protection film in the front. Um, okay. This is kind of newer where a lot of bikers have kind of foregone this. Obviously, bikers don't generally ride behind semi-trucks and stuff like that, so <laughs> yes. you don't have to worry about rock chips as much. Yeah. Yeah. But when you have carbon fiber fairings and you've spent thousands of dollars on them, uh, it's you know throw a couple hundred bucks in and protect it. it does, it's not going to hurt. I agree. Paint protection film is real simple. We use SunTech, which is uh, one of the industry leaders. This is the Ultra, and the Ultra is their newest and highest gloss offering. Okay. And it also has, uh, and of course it looks a little opaque, but that's just the backing. It's actually crystal clear once once it's installed on the vehicle. Okay. And it's it's a little thicker than normal vinyl. It's about six mils thick. Yeah. And that is what gives it a certain amount of resiliency. So when a rock oh, hits yeah. it, it kind of bounces off. Wow. So it can absorb and bounce the rocks off most of the time. 
And then the ones that don't, maybe they damage it, but they damage the film. They don't damage your expensive paint work or carbon fiber work. Makes perfect sense, Russ. I never understood how that process went, yeah. man. So this is, this is a like I said, this is a 10-year film. It's already coated on top. Mm -hmm. We generally go back over it anyway with Ceramic Pro because Ceramic Pro makes a product just for vinyl, and that's called the PPF and Vinyl. This came out uh, maybe a year ago from Ceramic Pro, okay. the industry leader. This is the best stuff in the world. Yep. And so this little bottle will coat a couple of cars worth um, these are professional install only you can't buy this i'm afraid okay. but you can always call us and we'll do it for you absolutely um so this is a there's a the two coat product for this we do this on all our vinyl wraps um and on top of the paint protection films on the rest of the bike so once that's actually that brings me to my next point but that once that's done um that process is done that film is gonna it dries out for a couple of days mm -hmm. and then it'll be crystal clear so it's not even at its clearest or glossiest right now okay it still has to dry out and get that moisture barrier out uh from between the paint and the film okay the next step is to coat the rest of the bodywork in ceramic coating the differences with ceramic glass coating are so numerous wax is so outdated yeah. um it's sticky it attracts dust and dirt um, it just fills in the scratches we actually remove them so they're gone oh, you get wow. so much more of a vibrance to the paint you get to see the actual color if yeah. you have uh, we've actually seen colors change from panel to panel as we've paint corrected it wow and some of this is hard to capture on camera or film um, so you kind of once you see it in person you see the difference yeah and that's why we're booked for months out because when people understand it, it it's well worth the extra cost over a normal two hundred dollar detail to get this work done where it may be a couple of thousand dollars but once it's done it's done it's yes. permanent so I'll show you some of the products that we use for Ceramic Pro. There's a wheel and caliper product. It's a thicker product mm -hmm. um, that we use on wheels and calipers. So that way it can handle the higher heat. Um, it can handle the more abusive you know, dust and stuff from the brakes. And it just wipes right off it, it, or p pressure washes off. So you, you really save so much time, especially on a motorcycle, um, having to clean the wheels. Yes. Um, the 9H and the light are really the basic systems from Ceramic Pro. This is the this is the bread and butter of what they do. Mm -hmm. 9H has a certified 9H hardness. It was tested in Switzerland by a separate company. It's the only um, product that's been third party tested. So it has been tested to a 9H hardness uh, on a, a normal metal substrate. Yeah. Um, which is the, the surface that it goes on. It does completely and permanently bond to the surface. So we generally do, uh, this is what we call is our two layer coating on a car, they call it a silver package, uh, Ceramic Pro does. We actually call it a Rockstar, it's our Rockstar detail. Um, we do a one layer of 9H for the hard coating, we do a layer of light over top of it for the ultra slick and glossy coating. So the two of these together are unstoppable. A lot wow. of other companies will make something and they'll kind of compromise one of the two. You can't do them both. You can't have the ultra gloss and the ultra hardness in the same coating. Um, so that's why this is the industry leader and it's in 5,000 shops across the, uh, the world. Wow. Yeah, the Ceramic Pro is a huge deal. If you look up any of their videos and see some of the stuff they, they've they done, uh, but I can testify to it for our thousands of clients and stuff that we've done, it works. Especially yeah. in our weather conditions here in Northeast Ohio are horrible. Yes. We, we're 90, 100 degrees. We have sand blowing all over in the summer. Yeah. Then you get into the winter, you got rock salt flying at your car. You got Jeez. salty water sitting on it trying yeah. to rust it. Um, and then, of course, you can't wash it. It's you know in the middle of winter unless you have a wash bay in your you know garage at home, or you know, or you know me, and you have a friend who can wash your car, or you, right. or you pay a detailer all the time. Um, so they go through these horrible processes. I'll tell you what, I bring my car out in the spring, I, I spend 20 minutes washing it in my bay here, and it looks like I just detailed it. I haven't polished or waxed it in three wow. years. And it just, the stuff really holds up. So um, this is a really great product. I'm so glad we got to apply this to such a great bike because the way it looks now, no matter how much uh, driving through the rain or just neglect or whatever, it's still going to look like this in year, years wow. to come. So it's a really good investment. And it does look amazing, man. I, I just... I... The video and the pictures and stuff won't do this this bike justice. I hope that uh, whoever wins this bike takes it to bike nights and things like that and allows people to really appreciate how beautiful this machine is. Wow. Super pleased with how this bike turned out. It's great. All right. Well, thanks so much, Ross, man, for everything, man. You're uh, thank the best. You. It was much a appreciated. real pleasure. Uh, such an awesome machine. I can't, do, I can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> yeah. Actually, on that note, I'm going to be bringing you another bike. Okay. Uh, real soon here. Uh, to the, our next bike. It's actually a Yamaha R1M. Oh, um, nice. 
it's in stock form right now, Ross, so it's not going to jump out at you as, as much as this one does. But when we're done with it, which is when I'll bring it to you in the spring, it's going to be outstanding. You're going to love that one. All right, sounds good. All right, guys. Well, go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on that subscribe button. New videos are always uploaded to the channel. Stay tuned for more amazing videos, and thanks so much for supporting the new bike build series. The winner of this bike will be announced on October 2nd. It's coming up real soon. Thanks so much for viewing. We'll catch you next time.